<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is the voice of reason and dishes the dirt every single morning on one of the most talked about radio shows in the country. Yes, and she definitely holds her own as the only woman on the very popular The Breakfast Club, Power 105.1's syndicated morning show heard all over the country. I don't know if I've ever been this starstruck before, but <laughs> please help us welcome Angela Yee. Yes. <laughs> Nice to meet you in person. Hi. How are you? How are you? Thank you so wonderful. much. Wonderful. Right here. You know, I'm excited to talk with some ladies. Oh, I already right. know. Right. <laughs> and then ladies that have, have, have do radio. I and know. Have done radio. Listen, I've been following your career too, Rashawn. So really? Absolutely. Oh, Angela, thank you. Mm -hmm. I like people that are very active in the community, and you always have been. So thank you. Yeah. Oh, that means a lot. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate oh. that. I appreciate that. I'll the try to do a little more, so maybe you can follow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it though. Right, right, right. Okay, so what is this story that's going on on Instagram? You know what I'm talking I about. I already know. Yes. Yes. It has to do you with it, your Ebony. sister and the, uh, I guess, fake like a dog. fake dog. Yes, the one so that's like, it's made out of greenery, <laughs> from what I suppose. So it was stolen f in, from in front of her bakery in Brooklyn. So I was just trying to help her out. Like, that is, you know, she opened this bakery years ago. We're mm -hmm. all from Brooklyn. And basically, she had this, like, dog that's like a bush. It's a bush shaped right. like a dog. Mm -hmm. They just redid her shop for a TV show. She can't announce it yet because yeah. it's going to be on television. So part of the rebirth of the shop, like, it's been a crazy year for her husband passed away. Oh, wow. You know, so she's been raising her kids now on sure. her own and running this business and just kind of getting everything back together. So the store is open, and while the store is open, there's, like, a bench outside mm -hmm. and these bush dogs. And somebody comes and steals a dog, right? It's a woman and I don't know if it's her boyfriend or whatever. They're sitting oh, on the bench. Is. Yeah. The guy goes inside to distract her while the store is open. Because uh -huh. at night they put, you know, the stuff inside. Yeah. And she just kicks the dog and then takes it. And oh, your, fa your fans have been going in on Instagram. <laughs> on Instagram. They yeah. love you, honey. But it's interesting because I posted it because, first of all, let's find out who this person is. Yeah. There's video camera surveillance footage is pretty clear. So I think, you know, we got her Instagram handle. People know who it is. So she sent me an email apologizing. What? And actually, in the middle of the night, somebody in, like, a hood came and returned it. And put it, it. back. Yeah. That is so hood. That is so hood. <laughs> like, well, like, like, why would you even do that? That's crazy. But, you know, I think, like, imagine, Ebony, somebody stole something from you, like, you, your bag is sitting in here and someone just takes it. Yeah. And they're like, well, you should have had it chained up or you shouldn't have left yeah, it. Yeah, like, exactly. You should no, feel safe fine. enough in your right. neighborhood to be able to do what you want to do and put your dog out there. Yeah. Right. The shrubbery dog. Yeah. People are yeah. like, oh, yeah. just buy, yeah. buy a new one. Do this, yeah. do that. Yeah. And it's don't, like, don't you're not supposed to steal. Pad. I know. All right, so let's talk about you. Okay. Um, you are part of one of the most popular radio shows just in the country. And, uh, but a lot of people don't know how you got your start, Angela. Let's talk about that. Let's take, take us all the way back to even how you've gotten thus far. Well, I went to, to take it really all the way back, I always thought I was going to be a writer. So I went to college. I was an English major. I was like, okay, I'm going to write books and not and fictional books and do all of this. But you know how life is, mm -hmm. right? So I ended up just working in marketing, doing things like that. And me just starting in radio, it was at Satellite Radio at Sirius. I was actually trying to get into a marketing position, and Eminem had just launched his station, Shade 45, so I asked his manager, can you get me an interview? And instead, he was like, well, why don't you audition for the morning show? Because they're looking for somebody. And, you know, the host, Cypher Sounds, is looking for a sidekick, and they want a woman. Yeah, of so course. The like, woman is always a sidekick. Yeah, that, exactly. Do -do -do. We'll get into that. Don't yes. worry. Yeah, we will. <laughs> we will. And a closed mouth don't get fed. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. You asked the question, mm -hmm. and there was that opportunity for you. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I'd never done radio before. So in all fairness, like, to be a sidekick, I'd never done radio, Absolutely. so it's a great way to start, because a lot of people start off, you know, as an intern mm -hmm. or doing overnights, different things like that. Yeah. So my start was just basically on the morning show, on satellite radio, I as a sidekick, it. never did it before. I get it. I, yeah, I want a contest to be in radio, even though I have a degree in it. So, I mean, everybody's <laughs> story see? is different. Exactly. Everybody's never story know. is different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. you know, one piece of advice they gave me when I first started, because I didn't have the job when, they gave, when I started. It was just an audition period. So I was working for free for, like, three months. 
and a lot of people start <laughs> just that same way. Yeah, absolutely. right. Hoping that they and where and you when you work for free, you still have to work like you work there and you're getting paid a million dollars. Absolutely, because right. you're trying to get in the door. So I was definitely like above and beyond all the time. Mm -hmm. So fortunately, like I had a great interview with Jay Z, and after that interview, it was so good. Sky we walked out. Right. They hired me. Yeah. Well, I felt like I was working for free because on my paycheck, the only comma was between my last and first night. <laughs> I hate you. All right, <laughs> and you work with the controversial mm -hmm. Charlemagne the God, and I know. Sometimes being in radio or even in interviews, sometimes I'm like, oh my God, what are they going to say next? Because you're kind of <laughs> nervous. Mm -hmm. Have you ever found yourself like really, really nervous or are you kind of used to the, the banter that you know that's going to come after his questions to some of the guests? I mean, I hate the fact that sometimes I do feel like you get numb to certain things. So I'm so used to it. It's like if you have a family member, because we've been working together for eight eight years now right so I'm just so used to like the crazy things yeah. that sometimes it doesn't even like phase me because I think I'm like you're immune to it at this yeah, point yeah kind of do you ever feel like it. man you know that was wrong you went too all far all the time that. yeah I say all the time and I feel like everybody has to be more responsible about what they put out there whether it's on social media mm -hmm. whether you're on the radio even if you're at work if you're sending out emails even if you're in a group text with your friends you never know where those things are going to end up yeah so just be responsible like I know sometimes we like to say things that are shocking you look at social media people say the craziest things on there that you're like that was really stupid yeah you know and we have to be a lot more responsible because those things can affect you later on in life. Right. I mean, man, long term, definitely. Right. They we're say gonna... the internet never forgets. Yeah. But never does. <laughs> when we return, we're going to have more with Angela Yee, and she's going to join us at the table. Ooh, you know, it's going to get goes, good. Hey, go down. down there. Three radio girls? Man. <laughs> <laughs>